Hey guys, Terra Watcher here. Today I've got a really special video for you. Nebula Protocol is going to be launching on Terra over the next few weeks. It's already live on the testnet, but you can't play around with it yet because they haven't released the web application. I've been given access to the web application for testing purposes, and today I'm happy to be able to share it with you. So in this video, I'm going to give you a little walkthrough of uh, the Nebula Protocol web app so that you'll be able to hit the ground running when the protocol fully launches on May 10th. Uh, let's jump in. Let's get started. Uh, so first, a little intro right here, uh, just a little background for uh, Nebula Protocol. It's being developed by Terraform Labs, which also developed the entire Terra blockchain. <laughs> so it's going to be a, a first party protocol, like a Mario game, basically. Uh, the quality is going to be very high. It's probably going to attract a lot of TVL. Uh, if you want to buy some NEB, which is the governance token for Nebula, you can do so in the liquidity bootstrapping pool, which is going to be held from April 27th to May 2nd. And the protocol is going to be fully live and fully functional on May 10th. Uh, it, what's it going to do anyway? Well, I'll tell you. Nebula protocol is going to offer um, crypto ETFs, basically. They're going to be called clusters, and you'll be able to buy and sell cluster tokens, which will represent a share of the cluster. Um, these clusters are going to need constant rebalancing to, uh, to maintain the weights that they're going to have set, and users are going to be rewarded with NEB token for rebalancing the clusters. Also, there'll be a lot of arbitrage opportunities on Nebula protocol. Um, whenever the uh, whenever the market the market price for a cluster token rises above or falls below the the nav the net asset value of the cluster token, um, there's going to be an arbitrage opportunity. So uh, that'll be fun, <laughs> and um, of course there'll be uh, NEB token LP incentives if you're going to provide liquidity for a cluster token UST pair. So. Uh, yeah, there's going to be a lot of ways for us to earn NEB, and there's going to be a lot of different things for us to do with this protocol. I'm really looking forward to it. So, so let's check it out. Let's uh, let's check out the Nebula web application. Let's go for it. Okay, so here we are. This is the Nebula web app. I'm showing it to the world for the first time. Um, this is running on the testnet, so none of these numbers are real. And um, another thing, the, the, the full protocol launch is still a few weeks out, so uh, parts of this web app are a little bit rough. It might look slightly different uh, when you get your hands on it, but um, probably not by much. This is probably, it, this is pretty close to the finished product, I would say. So let's check it out. You've got your dashboard, right? You've got uh, your TVL right here on the dashboard, price of NEB, that's good to see. And you've got your clusters. So uh, when Nebula launches, it's just going to have one protocol. It's just going to be a protocol consisting of Luna and AUST. However, uh, it, of course, the community will be able to propose and vote on new clusters. So pretty soon there will be many clusters available on Nebula for you to buy and sell and rebalance and arbitrage. <laughs> uh, there's going to be a lot to do. Um, so you can see on the testnet, there are a few clusters already. We've got this one, Lust, which is comprised of Luna and UST. And you can see some other ones. You can see the uh, cluster distribution. So that's going to be displayed prominently on the dashboard. You'll be able to see um, how big these clusters are relative to each other. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so there you go. That's the dashboard. Moving on. We've got our staking page where you can see all of the um, liquidity pools where you can put where you can pair your cluster token and UST. And of course, if you stake here, you'll be earning um, NEB token incentives. So that's good. Uh, and this is basically a front end for Astroport, right? Uh, this All this trading is actually going to happen on Astroport. So uh, pretty straightforward, just a normal staking page. Moving on, we've got our governance page where you can um, buy and sell NEB token. I could buy $10 worth of NEB or I could sell NEB. And of course, um, NEB token doesn't do anything unless you stake it. You've got to stake NEB token so that you can use it to vote and so that you can use it to, uh, to, to, to claim your share of protocol revenues. So we've got governance. You can see the total staked, 
staking ratio. Uh, you can see the propositions here. Um, I made one the other day, <laughs> Nebula Protocol for the win. Uh, nobody voted for it though. <laughs> That's okay. It's, it's just the test net. And then you can see my page. Uh, this shows me all of my value on Nebula. So uh, I can also see my rewards. It looks like I've been earning some rewards. That's cool. I can claim them if I want. Um, you can see my cluster token holdings. Uh, you can see uh, my staking positions or my LP positions. And you can see what I've been doing with governance. So, uh, so far, so far, all of this has been kind of straightforward. We've seen this stuff before, but uh, of course, what's really unique is the clusters themselves. So let's check those out. And here you go. These are all the clusters. This is the cluster page, of course. So I can click on one of these clusters and then I can buy it, I can sell it, or I can provide the uh, inventory assets and I can mint a new cluster token. Or if I have a cluster token, I can burn that cluster token to redeem the underlying assets or the inventory assets basically and uh, this mint and burn functionality is going to enable a lot of arbitrage I'll explain how so right here you can see this is the intrinsic price of uh, the cluster token for this cluster right so the cluster token here is backed by or has uh, $48 worth of underlying value right? Because each of these cluster tokens represents a share of the cluster. So the intrinsic value here is worth $48, but you can see the market price is only $45. So that's a negative premium, right? A negative premium of around 7%. So the market is not properly valuing this cluster token. So what I can do is I can buy the cluster token from the market, and then I can take it over here to Nebula, and I can burn it to redeem the underlying assets and then I can sell those underlying assets and I'll have a profit. And the great thing is you don't only get the profit, you also get uh, incentives. So they are, they are going to be incentivizing you with NEB token to make a profit, which is pretty great. And so, so if you do it right here, they've got this functionality all built into the app. Check this out. So. Uh, since we've got a negative premium right here, we can put in, say, a thousand dollars, and what that's going to do is that's going to go and buy the cluster token from the market where it has a negative premium, and then automatically burn it and redeem the underlying assets, and this is what I'll be left with, and this is my profit, fifty-six dollars. Pretty sweet, right? And plus, there's also going to be a certain amount of NEB token rewards as well, so that's great. And um, of course, we can do the opposite thing. So if it's a if it's a positive premium, uh, if the uh, cluster token were being valued higher than the underlying asset, uh, the underlying assets, <laughs> what we would do is we would uh, we would uh, do this. We would uh, put in a thousand UST and we'd be buying the underlying assets, and this would be a two-step process. We would buy the underlying assets, we would mint the cluster token, and then we would sell it on the market for a profit. So they've got this all set up. Uh, it's going to be really fun to play with once this thing is actually live. Um, but there's another thing you can do. So you can arbitrage, you can perform arbitrage with these cluster tokens so that, the, uh, so that there's parity between the intrinsic value of the cluster token and the the market price, so you want that to be um, to have parity. Uh, but another thing you can do is you can participate in uh, the rebalancing of these clusters. So these clusters have weights; they've got designed weights. And uh, if there are ever uh, you know if if there's a, a, a divergence between the amount of the uh, asset in the cluster and the, the amount that should be there, then you can help rebalance it. So uh, let's take a look at it. Let's take a look. So right now, as you can see, there's the asset weight, there's the current weight, and then there's the target weight. The UST here is at 30%, but the target weight is 35%, right? There's a little discrepancy there. So, so this cluster is unbalanced. We need to rebalance it, okay? And the way we're going to do that is, 
since it needs more UST, we can actually, let's see, we can go to advanced and we can mint cluster tokens without providing um, both of the inventory assets. We're only going to provide one inventory asset. We're going to provide the UST. And we can mint it, and that's going to put this cluster more into balance. And we're going to be provided with uh, NEB token incentives for doing so. And uh, the same thing with Luna. Like, as you can see here, uh, there is the current weight of Luna is higher than the target weight. So if we go to burn, advanced, I've already got um, some of this cluster. So I can burn some of this cluster. And instead of getting um, pro rata both of the um, inventory assets, I can only take out Luna. A anyway, there's lots of stuff going on here. And this is kind of complicated, which means it's lots of fun. <laughs> uh, it's going to be lots of fun to play with this. You can. You can do lots of stuff here. I've been playing around with it on the test net. You can do arbitrage, you can do rebalancing, you can do them together. And when you add several clusters into the mix, when you're arbitraging and rebalancing several clusters at once, you're moving these assets around, trying to find little bits of profit here and there, uh, it can be very engaging. <laughs> Uh, it's a, it's, this is a great protocol. Um, I'm really looking forward to being able to use it with real money. And uh, look at this, it's got a day and night feature as well. Pretty stylish. Okay, so let's jump back to the slideshow for a little conclusion. Okay, so here we are, back on the slideshow. Uh, I know this video is kind of running long, which is why I want to conclude it in short order. Uh, but first, I just want to talk a little bit about value capture. So here you go. Here is how this protocol is going to make money for NEB stakers, right? So when you mint a new cluster token, or when you mint cluster tokens, you're going to be paying 0.1% uh, of the underlying assets or the the inventory assets. So if, if you're going to contribute 100 Luna and 100 UST to minting cluster tokens, you're going to be paying 0.1% of that as fees, and that's going to go to NEB stakers. And the same thing with burning cluster tokens, right? Uh, like one-tenth of 1% 1 is going to go to NEB stakers, right? And then um, with cluster rebalancing, it's going to be the same thing, 0.1% and cluster arbitrage. But uh, rebalancing and arbitrage both involve minting or burning. So basically, it's just minting and burning. I think that's pretty elegant. Like this whole big, very interesting, complicated protocol, it all comes down to just two sources of revenue. You're making 0.1% from mints and 0.1% from burns. Uh, let's just give, uh, let me give you a little example of what that's going to look like. So it, maybe you think that's not going to make much money. I think it will. I think it's a good idea. So suppose that in the first week, of uh, Nebula protocol being live, $100 million worth of inventory is added. Uh, you just times that by 0.1%, you get 100,000. So, you know, if this happens, the protocol is going to generate $100,000 just from the initial minting of these cluster tokens. And then once you've got all this inventory in this cluster, it's going to need to be arbitraged and it's going to need to be rebalanced from time to time because the weights are always going to be shifting. Um, so there's going to be a lot of minting and burning for sure and a lot of uh, revenue generation, I think. Um, all right, finally, finally, let's just touch on the token distribution because there's something interesting going on here. Uh, so there's the airdrop, right? On launch, how many NEB tokens are going to be out there on launch? Okay, there's going to be Let's answer this question. There's going to be 10 million from the airdrop. There's going to be 20 million from the LBP. But wait, it won't actually be 20 million from the LBP. That's that's what it appears. That's how it seems. But actually, a, a lot of that NEB, to NEB token is going to stay in the liquidity bootstrapping pool as it is transitioned to a normal Astroport liquidity pool. That's how it's going to go. Uh, you won't be able to drain all of it from the LBP. That's not possible. The price would go too high. So there could be maybe 5 million NEB left over. So that's going to subtract 5 million from this community launch, meaning that the way I look at it, there might, be, there might only be 25 million NEB at launch. So 25 million NEB to share 
the protocol revenues at launch. There's going to be these rebalancing rewards. There's going to be LP incentives. There's going to be even they're going to sponsor arbitrage from the community pool. So that's going to be emitted kind of, uh, I don't know how that's going to be admitted, emitted. Uh, probably not very much at first. We'll see what the details are. Also, the investors and the external contributors, they're going to be uh, getting theirs over, I think, three years vested linearly, but it only unlocks monthly. So they're not going to get any for the first month. And the team isn't going to get any for the first year. So for, for the first month, at least, for, for the first few months even, there's not going to be much NEB token out there. So I think the revenue is going to be high. I think the NEB token is going to be low. So the yield on that staked NEB is going to be pretty high, I think, which is going to result in a very high, a high fully diluted value, right? <laughs> but that doesn't really matter because because there's only going to be very little neb to share in all the revenues at the beginning. That's, that's what I think anyway. All right, so here's the conclusion. If you made it this far, I'll just wrap everything up by concluding uh, like this. So the LBP is going to be on from April 27th to May 2nd. Protocol is going to be fully live on May 10th. And here's the final thing. Do Kwan talks about Nebula all the time. If you watch his interviews for several months, he's been mentioning it quite often as one of the big things that you can do with your UST. Is that's the whole point of of the Terra blockchain. That's the whole point of Terraform Labs, and that's the whole point of Nebula, just to find utility for UST. And well, Doe's got a lot of money. <laughs> he's very influential in Terra. He, he's he's the boss. <laughs> so I think this protocol is going to be pretty big, and I'm very excited about it. Okay, I'll see you next time.